starting tomorrow, back to school. Uh, don't spill it, stupid little boy. I am not a slave. Too large to human. There. Gotcha. Where you been? It's looking to be here. It looks like a black pearl. We're gonna kill Robinson and get that treasure. Billy doesn't even know his alphabet. Billy's gone. He's not in his bed and his things have gone. scolded him about his silly parrot. Well, there's no point in blaming yourselves. Nobody noticed how upset he was. He was very quiet at supper. Has he definitely gone? He couldn't be hiding anywhere, could he? He took all his things, Mother. <laughs> what was that? Ernst, will you come with me? Of course. David, it's dark and dangerous out there. That's why we must go find him. They're going. Robinson and that boy is. They're leaving. What for? This time of the night. You sure it was bad. They've gone and left the treehouse unprotected with all that treasure in there and nothing but a bunch of women to defend it. Christina, you should go, too. No, Mama. There's nothing you can do. I couldn't sleep. Not until Billy's back. Please, may I stay up? Until he's found. Very well. You get her attention, and I'll sneak in. Parsons, I don't want the women hurt. We've no quarrel with them. What's the matter? Still sweet on her, are you? Parsons, I mean it. Let them be. Don't fret. It's the treasure I'm wanting, not the women. Now get going. Hello? Who's there? Mama? Mama? What is it? There's something over there. Inside, Christina. What is it, Joanna? It must be an animal of some kind. Good evening. Christina? Let her go, you beast! Well, that's not very sociable, is it? To a guest who's just called round. Please don't hurt her. What do you want? No, that's better. Where's the other one? The little China doll. Hey, little Miss China! <laughs> Fred Emily. I'm sure Mr. Parsons means us no harm. Quite right. Quite right. I wouldn't touch a hair of your heads if you're sensible and do as I say. My father and my brother will be back soon. They have guns. 
멋있는 거? Didn't look like they'd be hurrying back to me. Please just say what you want and then go. Good. Good. Now you're being sensible. The treasure. That's what I want. We have no treasure. Oh, come, come now. You disappoint me. And old Parsons has come all this way. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. But... And I'm sorry, too. And this little one will be even sorrier <laughs> lest you stop playing games. We have no treasure. Open them trunks. That's just food. Mama bought from Boston. I'll count to three. But, sir, there really is one. We have no treasure. Two. Mama. Here. Where have you been next? <gasps> Parsons, you promised. Let the women alone. Don't worry. I am just persuading them to tell me where the treasure is. Now you make yourself useful. Go and scuttle their raft. We don't want them following us, do we? Don't you hurt them. And you, little Miss China, you're a rich young lady, aren't you? I have nothing. <laughs> and I'll take Robin. She comes with me until I get her father. No. Tell him. Tell Robinson. Please, I beg you, take me. Tell her. Her for him. No, please. Let her go, you devil, or I'll kill you. Mama. Then you'll hit her first. <laughs> Sprightly and you won't get hurt. Ben! Parsons? We're leaving! Cover me from that sea devil! Where's the treasure, Parsons? Stop your squawking and cover me! Christina! You stay nice and quiet, and we'll go on a little boat ride. As dawn broke, Father and I were unaware that Christina was in such grave danger. Our only concern was to continue our search and find Billy. I don't like it here anymore. Come on, Mr. Beak. Let's get some breakfast. I'm starving. I feel so helpless. If only your father were here. What's the matter with you? I'm stiff and my wrists hurt. Too bad. And I want my breakfast. Oh, do you now, madam? And what makes you think you're gonna get it? Because if you starve me, I won't be any use to you at all. Son. How long have I been sleeping? About two hours. Oh, uh, sorry. Why didn't you wake me? You needed the rest. Here. We'll push on after you've had some food. Yes, but where? I hope Bruno will be able to tell us that. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, Bruno. Take us to Billy. Patience, Mr. Big. Soon we'll have a fire going. Then we can have a proper breakfast. What is it, Mr. Big? What are you doing? I'm lighting a fire, ain't I? I've lost my tinder box. You'll never light it like that. Shut your mouth! I want my breakfast as well, you know. I'm certainly not eating raw fish. I suppose you could do it better? In fact, I could. But not while I'm tied up. Well, that is just the way you're gonna stay, Missy. Stop it, stupid man! I told you, Parsons. Maybe she can do it. I can't. This is some sort of trick. The trick is to light the fire. Untie her. Untie her, I said! For. Go get it. On. Please. Not too much. Now, blow. <sighs> Gently. Gnome skull. Well done. You want me to cook the fish as well? Goodbye, Bruno. Have you got the set? Yes, I believe he has. It's all fallen into our hands, Ben. It's perfect. Even Robinson will have to give himself up to save his precious little girl. He'll have to give in. One thing, though, Parsons. What's that? How are they going to let us know? They haven't got a boat now. Hadn't thought of that. What is it, Bruno? Was he here? Here. Billy! Christ, give me the muskets. Oh, God. Oh, thank you. No! I'm not going. Somebody's got to go and get his answer, Ben, and I can't go with this now, can I? You'll say what? Yeah. Yeah! I'm not risking a musket ball. Robinson might not even be back yet. Or an arrow in the belly. That Joanna only just missed me last night. 
They won't harm you. Not why I got their little princess. Bang. I'll write a note. Tell them to light the beacon when they're ready to swap him for her. the scent. The rain's washed it away. Well, what are we gonna do now? I fear he's been taken by some wild animal. There's no more we can do. We're going back. The trail is lost. And I don't want to leave the women alone for too long with that man Parsons around. Come on, Bruno. Billy was clearly suffering from a fever, having been infected by some kind of bite, which was unknown to all at that point in time. Parsons, meanwhile, was also unexpectedly suffering from being exposed to the strong will and stubbornness of my little sister, Christina. Mr. Parsons? Mr. Parsons! What? We're all very sorry about what happened to your brother. You will be, girl, when I get my hands on your father. But he didn't kill him. Really. It was an accident. <laughs> it was, truly. My father is a Christian. He says it's wrong to kill. Well, then he should practice what he preaches, and my poor Seth would be alive today. Please. I don't want to hear no more. You just listen. Shut it. Shut it, do you hear? David, thank God you're here. What is it, my dear? Christina has been kidnapped by Parsons. What? They left on his boat. I couldn't stop them. I would have harmed Christina if I tried. We have to go rescue her. We can't. They've ripped the bindings on our raft. He said we had treasure, Papa. And when we said we didn't, he took Christina instead. But he wants you in exchange. To repair the raft and finish him once and for all. No, Ernst. We mustn't act rashly. The most important thing is Christina's safety. We can't risk that. Papa, you raved like a madman about some treasure. He already has our treasure. Mm. He has Christina. <laughs> Miss Parsons? I don't know. He went off. Did you see my father? No. There was nobody there. Please, Ben. These ropes hurt my wrists. 
Right. Please, Ben. Else I shall faint. Sorry about all this. My father isn't a murderer. Really. But... <coughs> what are you about? Nothing. Did you give him the note? He wasn't there. Nobody was. I left it where they could find it. You yellow-livered well. Now what do we do? Well, they'll see the note and light the beacon like it said. the end of the rope, thank you. Father, what is it? I'm just a bit dizzy. I have a little chill. You're burning up. You have a fever. No, really, I'm fine. I, perhaps if I just... David! Father? David! Look. Nothing? What do you think? Maybe they haven't found the note yet. Or maybe it blew away. Or maybe it was eaten by chickens. You should have given it to them. There was nobody home. I couldn't just go off and knock on the door. Probably shot me before I had time to speak. Might not have been such a bad thing. Some sort of intake bite. He must have been bitten when we were looking for Billy. That could be what's making him so ill. Oh. Joanna, my medicine box. Well, if it is a bite, we really have to find an antidote. Yes, but what? Well? No, it is not well. My father won't walk into your trap. He'll trap you. He can try. He will. He's clever. And you're stupid. Parsons, told you no violence. Well, then shut her up. He's driving me crazy. everything I can. 